Otherwise people start thinking that they are disciples of a very great Guru. The Guru may not be great or maybe, that is not the point. But the disciple thinks, I am the disciple of the greatest Guru. That gives, that becomes a vitamin. And the ego grows on it, becomes stronger. No one can believe that his Guru is number two. He is always number one. Not because that he is number one or not. That is not the point. Because I can be number one only if my Guru is number one. My ego of the disciple depends on the height of the Guru. So if someone says something against your Guru, why you feel so hurt? Your ego is hurt. Your Guru means your ego embodied. Someone is saying something against your Guru. You cannot tolerate it. It is impossible. Because it is a direct hit on your ego. But the disciple thinks, I am the disciple of the greatest Guru. And the ego grows on it, becomes stronger. Because I can be number one only if my Guru is number one. My ego of the disciple depends on the height of the Guru. Your ego is hurt. Your guru means your ego embodied.